was proposed only recently could have stopped some of the hijackers. All of them were here on visas, and at least two of them had overstayed them. And three of the men were stopped by police for traffic violations at some point. Now, we talked with two immigration lawyers who have very different takes on this proposal. Michael Wilde says the INS needs all the help it can get. Criminal who has a final order of deportation and has not taken measures to protect himself is vulnerable and should be found. And the fact is that the government has a responsibility now, more so since September 11th, to protect our citizenry from any untoward attacks that may yet occur. Not to take this action would be irresponsible. But another attorney, Luis Salgado, says the idea makes him nervous. We're talking about police who are usually enforcing criminal laws, having to first, uh, having to now uh, look at enforcement of civil laws, uh, which have a different, uh, different uh, burden of proof, et cetera, for, for context with the public. Uh, uh, that's one thing that, that concerns me. And the other big concern is uh, it might tend to erode the uh, trust relationship that needs to exist between the police and the communities that they police to be able to do uh, an effective job. Florida is not the only place offering to hunt them down. South Carolina considering a similar plan, and Virginia may be doing that soon, too. But Denver's taking a step in the opposite direction. Some city council members there want their cops to stay out of it altogether. Even so, the names of visa violators, over 300,000 of them, are being entered in a national FBI database. So, John, it seems that we may be hearing a lot more about this in the future. Some more complaints and more people supportive of it. Yeah, I, you know, I could just imagine uh, Denver's might have a little problem if if their cops want to arrest somebody they know they're a visa violator and the city council says you can't we'll uh, i'm sure hear more about that later. they're supposed to be voting on it on monday as we hear heather now thanks a lot